We have already visualized a basic IPO model of a computer. Now, let us see what are the building blocks of a modern day computer. The modern day computer consists of following hardware components. Central processing unit CPU, input devices, output devices, main memory, secondary storage devices also called as external mass storage devices. Central processing unit CPU is a chip inside the computer mounted on the motherboard which is responsible for performing calculations, executing instructions and controlling other components of a computer. Therefore, it is also referred to as the brain of a computer. It consists of two unit, arithmetic logic unit ALU and control unit. Arithmetic logic unit ALU is responsible for performing all arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. It also executes logical operations which are used in decision making instructions. Decision making instruction helps computer program to make decisions. For example, how does a program know if the number, let's say n, is positive or negative? It has to make a decision here maybe by comparing n with 0. If n is greater than 0, then n is positive, else it is negative. This is executed by the logical unit of ALU. Now let's talk about the control unit, CU. Control unit is responsible for directing the operation of the central processing unit and providing signals to other components like ALU, input devices, main memory, output devices and secondary storage devices. Now let us talk about input devices. Input devices are equipment responsible for providing input to the computer. For example, keyboard inputs your key presses, web camera inputs your image or video, microphone captures your audio, all these devices produce some information and that is fed into the computer as a signal for further processing and storage. What are output devices? Your guess is right. They are equipment responsible for producing information in a human readable form. It may be a text, image, audio, video, etc. Some output devices are monitors, printers, speakers, headphones, etc. Now let's move to the main memory component of a computer. Main memory also known as primary memory of a computer only stores those data and instructions on which computer is currently working on. RAM, random access memory is a primary memory. In other words, it is the temporary memory, volatile memory, which stores data and instructions related to the program or software that is currently running on a computer. Once the computer is turned off, all data in RAM is wiped off. The data in program is transferred from the main memory to CPU for processing. Also, data may be written back from CPU to the main memory. Finally, we have secondary storage devices, also known as external mass storage devices like hard disk or hard drives. Hard disk is used for storing data permanently that is data will not be lost once the computer is turned off unlike the primary memory like RAM. It is also called a secondary device which has a good storage capacity and stores all your installed softwares, photos, videos and other files. All software codes are transmitted from secondary device hard disk to main memory RAM and vice versa whenever required. This is the block diagram of a computer. Let us relate this diagram to the IPO cycle. Here the green area represents the input of IPO cycle. This one is responsible for performing processing and the orange area is responsible for output of IPO cycle. The yellow region here is responsible for storage of program and data. That's all for this lecture.